outside the many rooms of Townsend Harris, each comes attached with a plaque. These plaques tell the general purpose of the room. For example, room 115 is the government and club office, and 112 is the publication office. But one room has puzzled us above all. What exactly is the acid neutralizing room? Uh, Jackie Chen. So, what did you discover the existence of the acid neutralizing room? Well, it all began when I was recording Sing. And um, I was stationed in the left bottom, bottom-ish left corner of the auditorium. And there was a step. And there was a door. I wasn't sure quite exactly what this random room was for. So I turned to the plaque. And the first thing I saw was the acid neutralizing room. And I wasn't sure what this room was quite for. Do you think that anyone does know about what the acid neutralizing room is? No, actually, I was really shocked. Do you know what the acid neutralizer room is? <laughs> the what? No. 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 Um, probably somewhere where you neutralize the acids of the basin. No, no, absolutely. Sounds like on the sixth floor. I don't know. Do you guys know what it is? No. Is it like neutralized basins or something? <laughs> uh, it's some sort of chemistry thing and it has something to do with acid. Wait, is it like something about like pH levels? I'm not sure. There was a student here and there was like an issue where it was leaking and they had to like cordon off the section of the auditorium where it is. Um, I don't know exactly what happens, but I would imagine is all of the the sinks in the chemistry labs and the biology labs they probably pipe in there, and there's some sort of like fat that neutralizes the acid, and then it could go out to the sewer system. Do you remember what year it was? I don't, but if you look at old issues of the classic, you might be able to find the year. The chemical neutralizing tank will be replaced over the summer after it sprang a foul-smelling leak on May 13th. Water was shut off in the photography and chemistry labs for two weeks, forcing science classes to neutralize their chemicals with baking soda and photography classes to abandon developing altogether. Hmm. If the classic published an article about the room in 1999, they probably found out more about it recently. Maybe Mr. Sweeney, the advisor of the classic, remembers if they ever investigated it more. Hi, Mr. Sweeney. Okay, so uh, do you know, like, uh, about the acid neutralizing room? I do know about the acid neutralizer. In one of the journalism classes, we had this plan to do a two-page uh -huh. spread in a print newspaper that was like the secret places of Townsend Harris. So yeah. part of that was they were going to visit the acid neutralizing room. And I believe that they were able to do it. I Ooh. think that oh, they, okay. they went in there, they took pictures. They just weren't able to then, I think, do the rest of the piece. Oh, okay, so is, it, is there any way that we could get access to that Google Drive? Like yes, I, I think I still have the photos. Oh, you do? I have the photos. <laughs> this doesn't tell me anything. We want to go talk to Mr. Cardamani, a chemistry teacher at Townsend, about what was in the acid neutralizer room to demystify its workings. This is what he said. Pipes that go from the photography lab and the chem lab, carrying acid, lead to a giant vat with a neutralizer, possibly sodium bicarbonate. The neutralizer brings the pH down from acidic to neutral, and the process is tracked by a pH meter. If it's too acidic, then nothing happens. But once the meter gets to 7, which is neutral, then it's 
automatically dumped into the sewer system at a constant rate, tracked by a timer. Nothing nefarious going on in there. And then it happened. Something so incredible, something so improbable, something so outstanding. When we asked if we could interview one of the custodians at Townsend, Hector, about said neutralizing room, he not only said yes, he let us in. Ooh. Whoa. It's off because the fan is off. Okay. So this is, so we still use this, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this comes from the chem and the photography lab. All the six floor labs. All right? the six floor labs. All the chemicals that they do, they do use any, they come in here, mm -hmm. filters it, it out to another tank that also holds it and the Okay, so are you allowed to dump like expired chemicals or is there like a separate process that you need for that? Oh, they gotta come and change like we have, I see these rocks, these are called yellow yeah. limestones. They change those. Okay, so. Those are, those are new, so these need to be changed. The equipment over here keeps a record of how things are functioning and let them know when it's time to change and when it's time to clean it out. Okay, so these are the this limestone is what helps to solve everything. Yeah, it sucks it off. And then you can flush it down. Right, it flushes it down. Got it. And this is like a mixer, I assume? Yes, sir. That's a mixer, yeah. And that just kinda like turns over. Right. For that thing. Oh, okay, I'll do that